use the limit definition to find the derivative of the function. So let's start off with 15, then we'll do 17, and then we'll do 19, just to kind of get the grip of this. So the first thing we want to do is write down the limit definition of the derivative and have that in front of us. So f prime of x equals the limit as delta x goes to 0 for f of x plus delta x minus f of x all divided by delta x. So let's look at 15. In 15, f of x equals 3. So if we apply the limit definition of the derivative, f prime of x is going to equal the limit as delta x goes to 0 for, in, in this case, f of x plus delta x. There's no x in f of x to replace. It's just going to be what the original function was, 3. Minus the original function, 3, so minus 3, over delta x. 3 minus 3 is 0, so that's the answer to 15. So let's move on to 17 now. 17 f of x is equal to minus 5x plus 3. So if we apply the limit definition of the derivative, f prime of x is going to equal the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x. So we're going to find every place where there's an x in here and replace it with x plus delta x. So minus 5, parentheses, x plus delta x. And don't forget the, uh, the rest of the function, plus 3. Minus, and then the original function, f of x. So we're going to write minus 5x plus 3, all divided by delta x. So when we write that out again, we're going to get minus 5. Uh, x minus 5 delta x plus 3 minus minus so that's a plus 5x and minus a plus minus 3 all over delta x so here we have minus 5x plus 5x those two cancel and we have plus 3 and minus 3 those two cancel so we're just left with minus 5 delta x over delta x Delta x and delta x cancel. You are left with minus 5. So let's go ahead and move on to number 19. 19, the original function is f of x is equal to x squared minus 4. So if we apply our limit definition of the derivative to this, we'll get f prime of x is equal to uh, x plus delta x in lieu of every x squared, so we'll have the limit delta x going to 0 for x plus delta x squared minus 4 minus the original function, that's the this f of x part here. So we'll write x squared minus 4 all over delta x. So you got to dig into your algebra archives and do some foiling here. Let's do some foiling. <coughs> You're going to get equals limit of delta x going to 0 for x squared plus 2 delta x x. I'll just write x delta x. Uh, and then plus delta x squared minus 4, minus x squared, and a minus a minus one is plus 4 over delta x. So 
So now we have an x squared here and a negative x squared, so those two are going to cancel. We have a minus 4 and a plus 4 here, so those are going to cancel. So we're left with 2x delta x plus x squared all over delta x. So let's write that out. 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over delta x. Now we can divide a delta x out of everything here. And we're left with 2x plus delta x. Now, if we take the limit, we can see that the derivative for this problem, this function is 2x.